carries that does it the best, but it's very item dependent in order to get there. I feel like Marcy carry before BKB is extremely solvable. You can kite her, you can blind her away, you can hit her with any sort of stun and just reset when she ults. Um, so from my perspective in this game, Extreme probably want to slow things down a little bit and, and get to those key items first, uh, whereas Liquid's lineup can play a lot more explosively in the early portions of the game. Yeah, BSJ was talking about how he doesn't think the Battle Fury would be a... Um, I thought it was going to be a really influential item, and I feel like it has been. It's uh, it's definitely good. It incentivizes people to look for kills in lanes, to play aggressively, to get first bloods in the jungle fights in the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. It's definitely been delivering on that front. Oh, the I'll jump in on Venetia. Boxy's here. The counterplay. The yeah, we get Searing Chains. Tries to oh. dodge out the Illuminate, but it's not going to happen. Nisha will live again. You were losing this lane, now you got the kill, which was also first blood, and you got it at a timing where you also got the six minute rune. And JP so, might go down here as well. Blood Grenade activated right after the Kraken shell, so it's not going to dispel anytime soon. One more right click will do it, and Insaney gets credit for that one. And Liquid, 3-1 advantage early on. They do lose Zai, that unusual, but yeah, it's Paparazzi in the TP bottom. This would be a very big kill for Extreme, focusing on Mickey, and Insaney can only look on in disgust as his Luna will drop. And Nisha on the other mirror, side. Mirror move? Oh, well, not mirror move. This is in mid, actually. But will, yeah. as it looks, be trading. UI will fall, but again, just the support. And it's six here. A nice hero to get it on. The enemy team's gonna have Taka. to start buying dust or sentries to find any kills. Take a star storm, and Stania. Oh, okay, they actually get the Searing Chains on the Paparazzi. Regen Rune regen. was taken by Paparazzi, though. So that it could spell doom for Liquid, but Zai coming in with that dragon form, remnant away for Nisha, breathe fires there as well. Oh! Paparazzi does get hit Ooh! by the Illuminate, yes, but now regen too. he will live, and yeah, with the regen, we'll see if he wants to... Regenerated farm, and perhaps even make a rotation to top, we'll see. Ghost is farming pretty well on the Marcy here, uh, top net worth in the game, as a matter of fact. It's been untouched, he's 1-0-0, whereas the Luna did get killed once, as we saw <laughs> earlier. Speaking of kills, Nisha... Getting the job done there on the line. And Extreme have gotten to get the Battle Fury pretty early on on the Mars. Yeah, it's a good Battle Fury timing for sure. That's the big redeeming factor for Extreme as far as I'm concerned. Because oh. I do like Liquid's shot here right now. Yeah, they have to, oh, oh, the no, arrow! He's All right, tried to TP out. Not going to happen. So the, oh. the silver lining from Extreme is he did just purchase the Battle Fury, so he's not yeah. really going to lose gold. But 30 seconds off the map and obviously a Tier 1 tower to boot for Liquid. Give her enough time to stick on the target. Yeah. And because Liquid don't have any true saves against BKB, uh -oh. they don't have any Oracle or so on. Oh, oh, Rana, looking for an opening. Paparazzi, they find oh. Stania. Finger of Death is there. All right. He died. So Kaka gets his first stack for Finger. Five-man defense. Without the dagger, JT is just... It's so hard for him to get in position. He's just getting knocked back every time he walks in. It's obviously extremely telegraphed. Oh, Kaka gets the initiation this time onto Zai. There's the finger. He's just dead right off the bat. There's the Ravage to follow, but Mickey popping his newly picked up BKB. Nisha with that double damage oh going to work. God. Delete both supports from the face of the earth. Zai buys back into the game. A beautiful steering chains on the two. <laughs> An extreme get punished hard. Halt flopping and then... Dropping watermelons? Is he just like... Oh, Paparazzi! Uh -oh. I'm sure what you're going to say is Ooh. very important, but Paparazzi dies. Huge pickoff for Liquid. Yep. They find the key kill, and they find it close to the pit, which is going to enable this. Probably putting the Aegis on Nikkei, I would imagine. Could make a case for Nisha, but... Yeah, either way. Brute force in with the Luna. And a month later, they added it to the battle pass. Yeah, so you're the reason it was expensive. That's right, and Thank I didn't you. get one from three. TV. Thanks, Valve. JT? Yeah, what's your royalty status on that? Exactly. <laughs> Arrow? Arrow, oh. okay. Crack and oh, shell crack yet and to activate. Before. Okay, he's trying to get healed by DY. Big Eclipse coming in as Zai, still in that dragon form. Looking to try to finish off JT eventually, and oh. they do so. Nisha, cleaning up Kaka, using that shard, but... Oh, the dispose back. You can see the damage coming out from Ghost. It's enough to delete Nisha. But he's going to try to back away. The stun actually activated after the BKB ran out because the Dragon Tail lasts for so long. And eventually Liquid will at least chase down the Pugna. So a three for one. I mean, Nisha dying is pretty big, but... Yeah, but still a good trade, obviously. Lion. Kaka looking for the Blink Hex opportunity. They're going to go onto the Coddle instead. But look at the damage coming out. Oh. That's so much onto Paparazzi. Finally pops the BKB. 
has to kind of sidestep this. Kado buys back into the game as Zai getting bashed into oblivion by Ghost, who pops the unleash. But now he's going to have to try to get away. No, nope, goes back in with the rebound. Mickey, remember, does not have the Aegis anymore. Life Drain is not going to finish him off. Instead, they get the Ghost, the stun onto him, and will drop him to his knees. And with that, I think Extreme have to try to get the hell out of here. JT is actually going to TP out, so Extreme, they lose one. It's an important oh, one. Honestly, this is a really good outcome for Extreme. I thought that was going to go way worse. They ravage and all they kill is a cop. These cores are mobile. She's not going to be able to get them down fully. JT, he's in a lot of trouble. Gets off oh, the Ogre Seal Tome and the pipe, so might live as a result, but now exposes the rest of Extreme Gaming to this burst damage from Liquid. They lose their Lion, they lose their Pugna. And see, DY does buy back into the game. Eclipse was activated. Optional. Right, that getting it for free and increasing your net worth on average will be worse for your team. I legitimately think that. As we have a potential fight brewing here, Roche has spawned. JT getting gone on, but the zip Brock it under the Storm Spear. Paparazzi's in a lot of trouble. Do they have the damage? Oh, they do. No. That's through the BKB. Storm dead for 45 seconds. Nisha able to remnant away. JT finally with the Ravage Ghost. He's already low to start this fight. Rebounds away and will live as a result of this. They do get the Luna, pretty damn big kill, along with Marana Nisha, has to be a bit careful. They do clean up the offlaner, Kaka, getting gone on by Zai. Extreme got a decent fight out of that somehow. somehow. Paparazzi didn't pop his BKB on the jump in. He got chain stunned, and then he popped BKB on like 10% and died before he could turn and jump. And they still Radiance don't get out. annihilated. They found the kill on the Luna because of Marcy. I think DY will die back here though, so that's pretty bad. Yeah, but he's again, similarly to the previous fight, I feel like Extreme Gaming, that could have gone so much worse given how that started. Just not a kill. I'm going to go with he works at day and sleeps at night because when you kill him at day the third time, he has I eggs. Fully fledged Aghanim Scepter. So Black is that Dragon a activated. minute wisdom one? Uh, yes, that That's is three accurate. Three minutes ago. I forgot. There it is, Black Dragon. Zai. Oh, he's going to go deep. He gets the Dragon Tail onto Kaka, who just died right off the bat. 45 seconds, though. Does have his buyback available. Ravage comes through, and the Black Dragon has been vanquished. I think he dropped the jump. They still want to fight. Arrow oh, good arrow. on DY. And you can see Nisha wants to finish him off, oh, but they'll get the Tidehunter instead. The Silver Edge doing absolute work. And even with the buyback... The Zai bait. They thought the push was over, but the arrow from Insania makes them go for that Tide kill. So they get a buyback out of Kaka. And now and they get the, JT on the ground. Now that the tower is down, the Glaive's going ham Wait, from Wait, JT Mickey. ravaged before he died? I didn't even see it. Yeah, he ravaged. I didn't notice. I have Zai back, and his Dragon Form is available. And again, the Aegis, it's 40 seconds away from expiring, so you'd think they want to definitely try and push this. The Illusion's doing quite a bit. Tower's dead, and they have to be careful. There it is again, the break! And they're going to be able to kill Tidehunter again, JT. No, pops the pipe, getting healed. Zipping by Paparazzi. Trying to focus on the Luna, but again, the age is still intact. Somehow, the Tidehunter lives. But without the Ravage, I don't think they can fight. 15 seconds away. So that's going to be two sets of racks. And Liquid going to try to go for the Trifecta. Dragon Tail onto DY. JT just walking in, getting loose and beef. Cannot blink for the life of him. And there's Ghost popping the Unleash. And you can see Nullifier apply to Mickey, but he just goes invisible. And now he's going to walk it off. Ghost, Dragon Tail's there. There's a the heals coming with DY. Instantly canceled. Finally, the Ravage comes through. Now that's online. But Paparazzi has to zip back away. Nisha doing so much damage on the back line. Three dead already for Extreme Gaming, including their position one Marcy. Kaka, the only Lion player on the face of the planet on the pro level, has died again. And that's going to be GG. 